if you want to see how go from this to this then keep on watching so today I'm going to show you how I blow dry my hair straight with a paddle brush I know I normally blow dry my hair with a um, round brush but I realized that a lot of you can't do that you're not as good with doing this and having that movement and also a lot of you always told me that you get your hair uh, tangled it is so easy to do it with a paddle brush so I have washed my hair and I, you wash it in a shampoo that is appropriate for your um, hair type. Um, I left it, I walked around the house for about 10 minutes. Now I'm going to put some product in it. The first thing I always put in my hair is the Schwarzkopf Bonacure Color, Color Freeze Spray Conditioner. I absolutely love this. This is like a Too Faced spray, so you have to shake it. It detangles your hair, makes your hair shiny, a very light, um, and it smells gorgeous. So I just spray it all over my hair. Make sure you lift your hair as well. The next thing I put in my hair is the Aveda Pure Abundance Style Prep and um, this gives you like a weightless volume as well. You know, I've got very fine hair so I need all the help that I can get. This like makes each strand of your hair thicker. So I shake that and I mostly spray it like at the top of my hair not necessarily on the ends then i brush it through i've got this white tooth comb these are the best so they don't tangle your hair i don't know where this one is from oh macadamia i think it's that came ages ago with some shampoo or something and the last thing i do is i take the green pharmacy liquid silk and this is for my ends just to seal my ends you know they are very fluffy and fine um, I like this because this is pure liquid silk there is no silicones in it and I just put it right at the ends of my hair go and wash your hands after that because you don't want to spread all that um, oily filling all over your hair I will link all the products in the description box now I'm going to um, slightly dry my hair just roughly um, to, to get rid of the moisture at the back you want it about 70-80% dry I mean the front is already dry but the back isn't I'm using my irresistible me onyx hair dryer um i've got i think discount code for it um i really like it it's got like a dual heating it's got infrared and the um i've reviewed this um hair dryer anyway oh you might be asking me um about the dyson hair dryer i use it very sporadically you know i'm in love with this hair dryer i love the design I love how powerful it is, how light it is, but unfortunately, even though it says the temperature adjusts, I found that if I use it for a couple of weeks straight, my hair definitely dries out. So I would say use it now and again when you're in a rush or if you've got really thick hair, if, if you've got fine, delicate hair, that hair dryer can be a bit too strong. Okay, so let's just roughly dry my hair. is 80% um, dry I'm going to section it I always take this front almost like a rectangle from here 
to the top of my crown and I section that separately. And then I take smaller section, three or four. The more sections, the easier it is to really dry it. And last one here. So this is what it looks like. And now we're going to start drying. So you take your paddle brush. It could be any paddle brush. This one is FHI. This came again years ago with one of my straighteners, I think. So that's what I've got. You put the brush under your hair like this and with a movement like that you're gonna dry your hair than mine you might not be able to use big paddle brush um, so this is for a bit longer hair I mean mine is not that long I can as long as you can fit um, the brush under your hair you are fine right let's do the next section Okay, so this section is done. It is so quick. Let's let down our next section and off we go. So I tuck this brush that way under my hair against my scalp and I pull this hair so I get the resistance. Then I turn the brush down and pull it down. So that will give you a bit of um, volume at the scalp. So let me just go around and I will come back when we are ready to do the top now where it comes to my top of my crown i'm going to pull this hair up and fold so i'm over directing the hair therefore i will get a bit of lift and a bit of um, volume Okay. 
okay now we are at the front so I still want this bit to go back because I like my crown to be quite high up so this is still going to go back I think I might take another little bit yeah to go back how do you you do your front is is up to you it depends where you part your hair now the front the fringe I'm going to Split it in two and blow it, blow dry it forward. Now, depending which way you want to part it, uh, you always blow dry the opposite way. So I'm going to split it at the angle like this and dry this bit. So I part on this side, so I blow dry it towards this side, so when I flip my hair, I will have a bit of volume. See, so when I flip my hair, I get this volume. And here is your straight hair with a paddle brush. So this is pretty quick and easy. And I don't think you need to use straighteners after that. That's the whole point, unless you like like pocket straight hair. So you could leave it like this, but of course, you know me, to me, this is really flat and I like big hair. So in the next video, so this one is not too long, I will show you how I make this hair from this stage to nice big hair full of volume. So watch out for that video, but for now that's all, thank you so much for watching, stay fabulous and I see you soon.